Okay, so here is the room when we walk in. To the left is the bathroom. Where's the light? Oh, there we go. Okay, so here is the bathroom. And then you walk in, and here's our beds, little kitchen, my honey, and let's see, got a big old TV, and here is our view. Pretty nice. morning it is Friday morning um, I'm having my surgery today it is at 1 o'clock um, but we're gonna leave the hotel at 10 and get over to the hospital and checked into our room um, so I haven't had anything to eat or drink or anything because I'm not allowed so that kind of sucks <laughs> um, uh, what else I mean the hotel room's really nice we slept really good our room got so super cold, which I love, so that's a plus. Um, the weather today is absolutely amazing. It's, um, <clears throat> I think it's 68, and it feels so, so good outside. And the high for today is only supposed to get up to 78, so Southern California is looking pretty nice. My blood work in EKG was yesterday and everything went good it looked good um so yeah just waiting to get taken over to the hospital and get this done i'll show you our view today so here it is it's pretty cloudy it was really foggy this morning but the fog is mostly cleared up it's just cloudy now so this is right outside our room and right over there, you can see, like, the mountainous hills off in the distance. But, yeah. And there is a, um, there's a balcony down at the lobby. And, um, we've been sitting on the balcony this morning and just people watching. And it's been really, really nice. So, that's all for now. My tummy's grumbling, so I'm just going to try to rest and relax until... We get to leave, but I do have to pack, so there's that too. I see you. Where is he at? <laughs> oh no, you're all blurry. There's my honey. Hey. <laughs> so. We're just waiting, and I will update y'all whenever we get to the hotel. Or no, I'll update y'all whenever we get to the hospital. Okay. So this is our room whenever you walk in. So you walk in through there. It's definitely nothing fancy, but it is a room. There's a safe. And my baño. 
and a little shower. Big shower. So there is that toilet and here is where I shall be staying. Let's go. Up here. <laughs> So here is our view out of our room, or our window. There. Let's take you out the window. Hello. So I probably look awesome right now. I am in my gown, got my IV done. And I'm just getting pumped with fluids right now. Um, and I'm just waiting. It is... Let me see. It's 12.22 right now. So my surgery is scheduled to be at 1 o'clock. So just going to wait until then. And yeah. Get a surgery then. So um, I don't really think there's anything else to update on um, the guy that did my IV just got it in one shot it was quick and you know mostly painless so we're good to go met with my anesthesiologist and yeah so I will see you soon morning y'all um I'm still pretty out of it it is uh See the 14th and it's 6.53 in the morning. Um, pretty much yesterday I slept a lot. Um, I finally woke up enough to where I could get up about 5.30 and uh, <clears throat> I just walked around a little bit and then came back to my room. Um, the surgery went great. not too much to report on there. Uh, the first night though, I did have a pretty hard time falling asleep. We, um, <clears throat> I kept waking up like just about every hour or two to sit up and I was dry heaving quite a bit last night. Nothing ever came up, but I was dry heaving a lot and that does not feel good. Um, and I would randomly get like one or two hiccups every now and then. And that definitely doesn't feel good. But I'm just still a little bit groggy. And uh, they said that I should be, you know, starting to feel more normal as the day goes on. Uh, so I'm assuming tomorrow morning uh, we will go back to our hotel and just kind of hang out. And I think they'll take us on a tour and stuff. Um, I got up this morning, uh, probably maybe an hour, hour and a half ago, and uh, me and Chris went walking around. Uh, we just walked around like this floor, and uh, we went down to the first floor and sat outside for a minute. Um, but now I'm just hanging out. Uh, I haven't really had anything. Like I, I took one sip of some water. I could definitely feel it going down. Um, but other than that, not too much to report on. So, I will keep you updated as I know stuff. Let me get some more light in here. Hey y'all, what's up? Um, we're back in the hotel room. I'm really sorry I didn't vlog too much while I was in the hospital. Um, there's just kind of a lot going on and between having to get up and walk and the pain meds and drifting off, you know, in and out of sleep, it was just a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> but I think I did get a couple clips here and there while we were in the hospital. <clears throat> Um, but like I said, we are back at the hotel. Um, we left the hospital at, I believe, oh, maybe like 8.30 this morning or so. Um, I got my IV out my hand. I don't know if you can tell, but 
where my IV was, my hand is still, it's really swollen, um, compared to my other hand. I mean, it's, it's pretty swollen. Um, and then I do have four incisions, oh, kind of tilting me all over the place. Um, I do have four incisions and, um, one where my drain tube was. Um, it's, it doesn't really hurt that much anymore. Every now and then I'll kind of get like a bad, like bout of like a gas feeling, I'm guessing. Um, so that's really uncomfortable. And, um, if I take, you know, too big of a sip of water, that definitely doesn't feel too good going down. Um, so other than that, I mean, I don't really have too much pain. Before they removed my drain tube, it was really uncomfortable just because the drain tube was just kind of in there, like sitting and pressing on your organs and stuff. So that, once they took that out, I mean, it was, it was, I felt a whole lot better. Um, but yeah, I mean, every now and then I'll just kind of have like a little bit of pain, you know what I'm saying? Um, but other than that, I think everything is going pretty good. Um, what time is it? It's currently 5.06 and we are just going to hang out in our hotel room for the rest of the night. Um... We did go on their, like, little, like, touristy shopping thing, which I would have been perfectly fine not doing that, because really all it is is, like, these little shops, and they all have the same exact stuff for sale, and it's just, it, it's just, it's, like, fun to look at, but it's not, it's not nothing that I would actually want to take home with me. Um, so I would have been perfectly fine just staying at the hotel, but that's just my opinion. So, we are being picked up in the morning. Um, we're checking out of the hotel at 11 and going to be heading back across the border to San Diego. Um, but our flight does not leave until 6, so we might have a lot of time to kill. We might not. I have heard some people say that it only took, like, 20 minutes to get through the border. Some people say that, you know, it took them 5 hours to get across the border. So, we don't know... So I'm glad that we're leaving with plenty of time, just in case, because you never know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I think that's about it that I have to update y'all on. Um, I am still walking around a lot, you know, trying to, you know, just help with the whole situation. Um, so yeah, but um, once we're heading home, I will check back in with y'all. Hey y'all, what's up? So, as you can tell, I am back home. So today is, um, Friday, July 20th. We did get home Tuesday in the afternoon. Um, and I haven't vlogged anymore just because I, you know, just adjusting to being home and being back with the babies and getting back into the groove of things. Well, Chris getting back into the groove of things because I haven't done anything. <laughs> um... But all in all, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I am able to take bigger sips of water than just little bitty, like, half a teaspoon size sips. So that's pretty exciting. But, I mean, you know, like I said, overall, I'm feeling pretty good. So I am one week post-op today. Um, oh, actually, one week ago, right now, because it's 1.22, um, I was being taken into the OR, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm not really having any sort of pain or anything like that. Um, my hand where my IV was, you know, it was swollen for like a couple days. The swelling has gone down, but it is still a little bit like sensitive whenever I touch it. Um, my incisions don't really hurt. Unless I'm, you know, like, doing something more physical, um, which I've really been just trying to take it easy, uh, you know, since I've been home. Whenever we were on the plane, I guess with the, you know, pressure change and, and everything like that being up in the air so high, um, I wasn't feeling the greatest. Like, just, like, my stomach was just kind of aching, like, you know, soreness, like, in my incisions and, like, in my stomach. Like, I did feel a little sore. Um, I did take some pain medication before we got on the flight, so I think that might have helped a little bit, but I mean, this, the pain medication's 
you know, not, it's nothing fantastic or anything like that. There's not too much to update on, um, since I am one week post-op, um, I can do, like, start incorporating, like, full liquids into my diet. So instead of just being on the clear liquids, like my water, broth, jello, which I freaking hate jello, and I've only had like two little bitty tiny tiny bites of jello this whole time, um, I can now have, you know, like smooth soups and things like that. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> I'll be happy once I'm past all of this and I am able to eat, you know, solid foods again, that'll be pretty exciting. Um, overall from before my pre-op diet until right now I have lost I think about like 26 pounds. I'm feeling good. I mean as of right now would I recommend it? You know going over to Mexico and having a major surgery? Yeah I would. At this moment in time I definitely would. Um, the people were really nice. You know most people like uh, Pretty much everyone, for the most part, spoke really good English. Um, there was some nurses who, they didn't speak as well of English, but they weren't major part, you know, they weren't like, I don't know how to say it. Uh, they would just be taking like my temperature and blood pressure and my pulse ox, and that's pretty much it. But ever any sort of major, like, kind of upper level nurse, I guess you would say. I don't know. Um, I mean, they spoke really good English. Everyone was friendly to me. Um, the group of people that I went with, they're, you know, really awesome. And I hope that y'all are doing good in case y'all ever see this. Um, but I mean, all in all, I, it was a good time. If you do have any questions or have any special requests for any videos, you know, definitely let me know. I would love to make them. So I think I'm going to go for now. I'm going to start editing this so I can get it posted as soon as I can. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!